Okay, today I'm going to be checking if ants can dodge microwaves. So the theory behind this is microwave ovens operate at around 2.5 gigahertz, which correlates to around 12.3 centimeters of wavelength. And so these ants are much smaller than 12.3 centimeters. So we wanna check if they can actually stay between the standing waves in the microwave and not be affected by it at all. And then to compare to make sure it's the size of the ants and not just the ants are special in some way, I'm putting these tiny little pieces of apple that I cut up and see if those heat up in the microwave. So normally when you put ants in the microwave, you have no way of seeing them in there because you have that annoying mesh on the screen. You can't put a camera in the microwave because it explodes. But I have my top secret microwave here where I figured out a way to film inside of it so you can actually see the ants clearly in the microwave. Three, two, one. Totally fine in there. They're running towards the cracks. Wow, they don't even seem affected. So you can see that none of the ants died. All of them are totally fine. Okay, so one of the theories of why these ants can survive in the microwave like this is because of how small they are. So they're smaller than the wavelength of the microwaves and so they can't adequately absorb the energy of the microwave. So to test that theory, I have here some little pieces of apple cut up, ant size, and I wanna see if these heat up in the microwave. Okay, ant size apples in the microwave. Three, two, one. Do it for around the same amount of time, around 20, 25 seconds. I don't see them steaming at all in there. Okay, so these are not even warm at all. That's amazing. This is interesting. I thought it was something interesting about the ants, but it's actually just their size because these did not heat up at all. They weren't hot at all. Normally 20 seconds in the microwave, these would just be fried. So now I wonder if I put all of these in a row and make it bigger than the wavelength of the microwaves, if now they'll heat up. Okay, bigger pieces of apples. Three, two, one. Okay, so these definitely got hot. You can see this one is cooked. See how floppy it is now? My ants all escaped while I've been talking. <laughs> so just because something's smaller than the wavelength doesn't mean it won't absorb any power. It just means that it will absorb less power. So the smaller something is than the wavelength, the less power it will absorb. So these ants are so small that they're much smaller than the wavelength of the microwaves and so they hardly absorb any power from the microwaves. Just like these apples here hardly absorb any power from the microwave also. But when I cut bigger slices, they're still smaller than the wavelength of the microwaves, but they absorb some power. The same thing goes for transmission of microwaves. So if you have just a blank sheet of metal and you're trying to block the microwaves, even if you poke little holes in it, it hardly lets any of the microwaves through because those holes are much smaller than the wavelength of microwaves. But if, if those holes get bigger and bigger, even though they don't get to the size of the wavelength of microwaves, it can still transmit more power. So they keep them pretty small so that it doesn't let a lot of microwave power out of your oven. So if you try the same experiment of ants in the microwave and you have them on something that actually absorbs microwaves, then you're not going to get the same result. That's because the ants will actually be on the thing that's heating up and the heat itself will kill them. So even though the ants still didn't absorb a lot of the microwaves, the thing that it's on does absorb it and it starts to hurt them. So earlier I tried this by containing the ants in glass so you could see them all better. And as soon as I turn on the microwave, you could see they kind of all fell off the glass. And I only did it for about seven seconds and they didn't die. But I opened it up and felt the glass and the glass was very warm. So I think it, they fell off the glass and they would have died pretty soon after if I didn't stop it because the glass was heating up rapidly.
Oh, hello again. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed to the Action Lab, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out, and I'll see you next time.